Roger, on the opening day of Skyport, we've had a chance to walk around a little bit and see that there is an uncommon vision for what might work in aviation going forward. As the director of flight operations here, you've got a pretty heavy duty roster of responsibilities. Why? <laughs> Yeah, that's a, good, that's a good question, why you would start a flight school or a flight business in today's economy. Um, because I think we really can do it better. You know, there's been a lot of information out through IOPA about what's wrong with flight training, and we believe that there is a formula that we can not only reduce the cost, but reduce the frustration in learning how to fly or getting additional ratings and certificates, and that's what we're here to do. You're talking about changing things dramatically, and you've made quite an investment to do so. What kind of changes are already on your horizon, and where do you think it's going to go? There really isn't anything new in terms of what we're going to teach people in learning to fly. We've certainly made that pretty clear over the last hundred years. The big difference is how you deliver on those promises and the methodologies in what you use. And our program is designed around making sure that before people get in an aircraft, they are very competent at doing the maneuvers that they're going to be asked to do when they're in the air. And that's where the flight simulation devices that Redbird have come into play. So our syllabus is designed about basically making people proficient in the simulation devices and then transitioning to the aircraft. That'll reduce their frustration. It will certainly decrease the time it takes them to get a certificate or rating. And we believe we're going to make them a better and safer pilot as well. How is your flight operation equipped? What are you bringing to the mix? How are you starting out? Well, we've started out with the full line of Redbird simulation devices. We have four new Cessna 172 G1000 aircraft. We've ordered two more for February and one new Piper Seminole to do our multi-engine training. We'll make a decision on our helicopter program uh, early next week, and we'll be working on that as well. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online, audio, and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio, and video programs every year, only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight, and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. Let's do a little bit of role playing here. I'm coming in, I'm Joe Q Public. I've always wanted to fly. I know this is gonna be the easiest thing I've ever done because I'm just an obviously above average intelligence individual. And I'm just gonna pick this up in no time and we'll get started on Monday and by Saturday, I'm, I'm flying my, my girl off for the adventure of her dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you tell me about learning to fly and more important from the standpoint of Skyport and Redbird? Well, the first thing is that you couldn't come in Monday and come out Friday. But you could come in Monday and three weeks later you could walk away with a private pilot certificate. And that's one of the things that we do that's a little bit different in the industry is that we would guarantee that when somebody comes in that we would complete their training in three weeks as long as they're willing to work full time. And we also guarantee the pricing for those ratings. As a matter of fact, we guarantee our pricings for all our ratings and certificates. One of the things that I would tell you is we would sit down, I would sit down with you and make sure that you understood exactly how the industry operates, advertises, and maybe, you know, incorrectly positions itself to try and attract customers to their particular schools. And we give you a checklist in which to look over not only our facility, but all the other flight schools locally or nationally. And uh, we're certain that you come back and train with us. Now, what ratings will you be offering initially? Well, our program is a, it's one syllabus, actually. It takes us through private, instrument, commercial, single, multi, CFI, double I, and MEI. And you can jump in or out of the syllabus anytime you want. So if somebody had already came with a private pilot certificate and just wanted instrument rating, perhaps, or had already had their commercial certificate and wanted their instructor ratings, we could accommodate that in the syllabus as well. The regs as they stand, the way we teach flying, uh, the st standard operating procedure, the SOP, if you will, for flight training today, What's wrong? Well, what's wrong with it is that, first of all, it's based on a time hour basis. Ours aren't. All our programs are proficiency based. And second, the initiative that the FAA came up with, which was FITS, and using scenario based training and learner center grading, really hasn't taken hold. And it's a wonderful way for people not only to accelerate their training, but to get a lot more experience throughout their training so that when they are finished with their certificates and ratings, they are really better prepared and safer pilots and all of our programs use those principles extensively. Unfortunately, most companies 
see the flight instructor just as kind of transient help and they're not properly trained in customer service. They really don't know very much about instruction, but they're certainly competent in the flying skills. So we spend a great deal of time with our instructors talking about the things you really need to know to be effective in instruction and to do the kinds of things that any customer would like so that they are they're pleased and satisfied with every moment of training that they get while they're here. The DFC-90 all-digital attitude-based autopilot delivers significant performance and safety improvements over previous generation systems. Its innovative flight envelope protection guards against autopilot-induced stalls and the straight and level mode provides one button recovery from unusual attitudes for an added measure of safety. Immensely popular within the Cirrus community, the DFC-90 is now being made available for a growing list of aircraft including Piper Matrix and Mirage, Cessna 182s, and Beach Bonanzas and Barons. Fly with confidence. Fly with DFC-90. What kind of person are you looking for as a flight instructor? I know you're going to have to do a lot of training and so forth, but I found out a long time ago there are folks who can do it and folks who can't. You know, um, I, I'm, I'm completely unimpressed with hours or ratings. Um, uh, being a flight instructor, honestly, they need to be able to fly well enough so they can be the safety person in the aircraft and certainly um, prevent a mishap. But other than that, we really focus on attitude. If we get the person with the right attitude, then we can fill in all the rest. Safety is something that never really comes up in the discussion that people undertake in regards to finding a flight school. Learning to fly is a reasonably safe activity when you look at it across this, that, and the other. But more important is the safety emphasis and the mindset that goes with a properly certified pilot out the door because what you can do is you can teach him to be safe while you're there, but can you teach him to be safe when he leaves the nest, so to speak? What emphasis are you making on this? How are you bringing safety into your programs? Well, you know, everything that we do, we start out with a, an emphasis on risk management. Throughout the program, using scenario-based training, we're exposing the learner to those kinds of situations that they may find later on in the future. And we're not really trying to give them a school book solution in terms of what to think, but we're trying to train them as a skill on how to think. And that is, they can handle emergencies or minor problems based on a structure that they've learned through experience in the training process. Well, I'll tell you what, it sounds like you've bitten off quite a bit here. I've watched Redbird in particular do some amazing things. I really enjoyed the creativity and the innovation I've seen in the products here to four. I'm Really curious to see what you do with the flight school. I hope you're going to allow me to stop in every now and then, see how you're doing, and commiserate with you over what you've had to learn in the process. <laughs> well, absolutely. You know, one of the things that we've committed to the industry is that everything that we do is transparent. So if somebody's interested in seeing what we're doing and the results that we're getting, then we're interested in sharing that with them. Certainly, we want to use the facility here as a training ground for other customers who have purchased the Redbird products and show them how they might be able to use those more effectively in their own training programs. And if somebody would like to mirror some of the things we're doing in our, in our professional pilot program, either in the aircraft or the helicopter, then that's what we're here for, and we'd be certainly happy to share the results with that. <laughs>